Hello and welcome to another Looney Tunes commentary. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel, and give this video a like if you do like it. So this is a commentary for I Wanna Be a Sailor, released in 1937. It's the 178th in the series, and it's directed by Tex Avery. Um, if you need a physical copy, it's on Laserdisc on the Golden Age of Looney Tunes Volume 3, but it might be easier to get the Kid Galahad DVD as it's on there, and this is where this particular unrestored print comes from. It's also in the public domain, so you can easily find it. So this scene, I've been told by my good friend Austin Kelly that it's uh, animated uh, by Virgil Ross, and um, the, the actors here, you've got um, uh, Bernice Hansel, uh, voicing the two first parrots and uh, the mother is played by Elvia Ullman and as for Peter uh, pa Peter Parrot, the um, our main character here, he's voiced by child star Robert Winkler and Robert Winkler was quite a prolific child actor of the 30s and 40s and then after doing some, I believe some military service, then became a lawyer a successful one apparently so that's weird and what's even weirder or rather more interesting is that he did some voices in the Captain and the Kids cartoons that Fritz Feeling would do um, not too long after um, this cartoon was released. So um, this, I've also been told that the scene here with uh, the mother rocking the kids was uh, animated by Irv Spence. And the father here, uh, where um, <laughs> who's quite the messy drunk is voiced by Billy Bletcher and it's weird how I've got two cartoons in a row where Billy Bletcher's voicing a drunken character. In Dog Days he voiced, well rather did the dog noises for um, for this one particular dog just, just howling and you can hear at least, at least he can talk I suppose. <laughs> it's just weird. Oh dear. Uh, that's just weird. Absolutely weird. But um, this is interesting for a uh, Tex Avery short. It's not quite as wild uh, as his other efforts. It does feel slightly more like a Disney short. But then again, there are definitely some Tex Avery-isms in here. It's just that it's just toned way, way down. But I've got to say, it's a nice little cartoon. There's nothing um, wrong with it. But I do have to say, it's probably one of um, Tex's... Uh, weaker efforts are in, in my opinion but I could show this to my kids and they would enjoy it so you see that um, so Peter Parrot just wants to wants to be a sailor he builds all that which is I gotta say it's quite impressive <laughs> pretty impressive and this uh, duck is voiced by um, Mel Blank <laughs> I just love the animation on the duck just you know, pay, pay close attention to the duck and just how it, how it's drawn and I, don't know, I quite like it. I, I really do. Now, um, very shortly, uh, the um, the parrot's going to sing um, I'm, a, "I'm the Captain's Kid," and there's a few other different um, uh, soundtrack items that that you may be familiar with, like the William Tell Overture and um, the Sailor's Hornpipe, which was in the beginning, and um, even September in the Rain, which um, Carl Starling seems to enjoy using. But if, if you know of any other any, any other uh, sound, soundtrack items I've missed, let me know. Well, it's pretty clever, just to take the skull and crossbones from the from the poison jar and <laughs> make it into like a pirate flag. Like, does he want to be a sailor or, or a pirate? It's, it's a little bit confusing, isn't it? That little headshot was pretty good, just the way he was just bobbing forward like that. Then, of course, we're going to have a bit of a storm and yeah, a bit of drama and, yeah, that's pretty much all that happens. It's it's pretty unremarkable, <laughs> in a sense. So, um, and I think we're hearing also A Life on the Ocean Waves. So, yeah, there's another song which I forgot all about. But, um, and I'm pretty sure there's more more um, soundtrack cues that, that I'm, uh, I'm actually missing. But uh, yeah, what do you guys uh, think of this one? Did you and have you guys actually um, watched this? When, maybe when it was on Cartoon Network, because the the print I actually had originally was from uh, Cartoon Network, but uh, but I managed to find this much better, much better print. 
Just look, look at the duck. Like I said, just look at the way the duck's animated right now. That this, that, I wonder who animated that. I think somebody um, did an animation breakdown, but I was searching through all, all my um, notifications and I seem to have lost it. So, um, yeah, if you're the one that, that's made that back that um, breakdown, please uh, let me know and I can pin it to this particular uh, video so, so other people can, can uh, take a look at it. <laughs> Such a happy duck, and um, once again, it's got got the the bigger eyes that was characteristic to a lot of, a lot of the um, early color Tex Avery shorts, and um, I've been told that that's just how Tex Tex will draw, and yeah, it just happens to be something that that um, is commonplace. But look, look at the waves, though; it's really weird wave animation there. Just so weird. Such a weird one. And we'll see when when the mother faints in the end. Um, but we'll be told that was um, animated by um, by Paul Smith. He's <laughs> just singing there. Um, I wonder what song song that one is. I, I'm on, I'm honestly not sure. But we of course get the like a Tex Avery type gag here where he just socks him in the eye and just goes out, you big sissy, and just goes off just. Not really a joke that that would be done today, I would think, but um, nonetheless, it's a characteristic of a Tex Avery type gag, and the few times that, that um, the fourth wall was uh, broken, which we'll see once again once the um, iris bl blacks out, and you'll see it just in a moment. Yep, and she addresses the audience once again. So there you go another one off the list so yeah thanks very much for listening guys and until next time